one. Do you understand me? I will throw you in jail, you piece of garbage. And don't tell me to call him back again. All right, let me just recap what uh, transpired between Perry and I on the phone last night. I thought it was a, you know, we had a very good conversation. Tavian, $5. Tony Hawk has acquired a very large crane and will come over to lift the credential. No, never, 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 ever, 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 ever is that fucking whack job allowed ever in my home. Suspend it is in in the air on Reseda until you remove the tattoo. Never. In a quazillion years, I'll change the locks again. Period. Fuckers. If I ever see him on my fucking uh, on my computer again, being in my home, I'll have him arrested. I'll have him arrested at his speaking own home. Of, uh, I'll have him arrested. Speaking of Mr. Hawk, uh, there's an offer here for $50. It's very simple. It doesn't, avoid, it doesn't involve him coming over. Don't worry. Balaboom is offering you $50, and all you have to do is call Tony Hawk on speaker and invite him over to search your car for etc. Now, you don't really have to mean it. Uh, Tony doesn't have to accept this offer, but you just make the call, okay? So all you're doing now for $50, mind you, is you're going to call him. You could do that just on... You could just He's not him. allowed to go... Yes, I understand that. All you're doing now is just calling him. Okay, on speaker, you're going to be paid $50 for this. So you can take out your phone. Of course, this means Tony's going to have your new number, of course. He's not allowed okay, to go right. in my car. All you have to do. Wait, 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 wait. This might take an hour. Hello. Uh, Tom told me to call you for you to come over to search my car for etc. Number one. You are not allowed no, 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 here. No, no, Number two, you are not allowed to touch don't my car. Anything. Number three, add, you will never, ever, 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 ever enter my fucking car for any motherfucking reason ever in your fucking life again. No, no, no. no you, you didn't get paid for that. You didn't get, that doesn't count. Now, do oh, shit. Because I'm not going to get paid. You can go fuck yourself. No, that's not, that doesn't count. You're not allowed to hang up on him, number one. All you have to do, Perry, whether you mean it or not, is ask the question and don't add your buffoonish commentary. Now do it again, and all you got to do is ask him to come over Christ. to search for etc. That's all you have to do. Tony to search your car. Call him and don't hang up. And don't add your buffoonish commentary. Do it again. Uh, the first call when he just called and yelled at me, I thought it went pretty well. He conveyed what he wanted to say. Um, I, I just don't understand why he doesn't like me. We always have a good time. I'm very respectful. He's just, I, I think he was in a bad mood. Something about uh, him gaining a little weight, maybe. I have been inviting him to go surfing a lot, and he has always declined and, and just screamed and yelled at me. So let's see about this next part here. Hello? Perry. Yes? Hey, we got disconnected somehow. Yeah. Um, so I heard you say you... So you want me to come over and search your car for uh, et cetera? You're not allowed to come to my house. One, two, they, they want me to have you search my car for et cetera. But again, yeah, you're I not allowed over here. Ever, ever, ever. I, I've got things I got to do. No, no, you don't have to. P Perry, first of all, you know, I invited you to the beach. What? I don't want to go to the beach with you ever. Oh, well, Perry. I'm trying to get you to the beach because I know it's something you don't normally do and you're never going to be in the snow. So I can come over and you are never allowed to go into my house, ever allowed to go to my car. Never, 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 never kiss my ass. Well, we're getting fine. There's no phone needs to be near the microphone, bird brain. This is what I don't understand with him. Uh, right now he starts screaming and yelling about, um, not wanting to go to the beach with me, and it's, it's not far from him. Um, it would be a fun beach day, but he won't do it. Uh, that, that's, I'm, I'm sorry, I got a little sidetracked because I just don't understand why he won't go to the beach with me. He bought a new wetsuit. He has a GoPro. I think it would be a very good time. Um, I could rescue him because you know he doesn't know how to swim. So let's see where it goes. What? Okay. 
if we if, if I come there and Perry, I, I don't think you have Excedrin, but just give me, you know, I'll search around in there. Maybe I'll take it for a spin or two. You're not touching my goddamn car. You're never coming into my car. Go catch my ass. Catch my ass. Fuck you. Fuck you. You can die and go straight to hell. 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 Die, bitch. Die, bitch. I want you dead yesterday, you fucking asswipe. God damn it. When he wants me dead... I just know he he's very comfortable around me, and it's mostly jealousy. He is jealous of my relationship with his neighbor, Juliet. He is jealous of the fact that uh, I'm happily married and um, have kids and, you know, I have a good life, and I try to bring him into this. And I think he just goes into a blind rage, and it's Perry expressing his um, his happiness with me. And, you know, it's, when Perry says no, he means yes. That that's what it was. Uh, the dying part, I mean, that just means come over, uh, bring your jammies, hang out for the weekend. Let's see what happens next. Well, that's no way. You can go fuck off too! Oh, don't take it out on me. That's no way to invite somebody to search your car. But... He's not allowed to go to my house. Not allowed to go into my car. He has a very, um, he's very protective of his car because, jeez, uh, if you slam the door, it's going to uh, fall apart. I don't know if you all remember, Tom just grabbed the door handle when he was out here years ago and, and it broke. Um, you get in the car and the upholstery is so bad and gross and worn through, it's probably going to fall apart. Uh, I think I need to paint his car. That That's the next thing. He, he does need a new paint job. Um... More bumper stickers. Definitely, uh, he doesn't want me to take it to the car wash, which I didn't understand. I was planning on doing that for Christmas, surprising him with a new wash car with a bow over it. That's all I could think about was taking it to the Giggle Springs car wash up the street from him. But he just doesn't want it. Don't give a fuck anymore, and I'm done with this stream. Oh, there we go. Uh, was it really necessary to wish him death? I don't care. I want to be done with this show. You know, but you're not done with the show because you took two giant poops and uh, made us uh, be behind. But was it really worth it to wish death on the man? I don't fucking care anymore. Can you just do me a favor and call him back and apologize? Apolo you don't have to do anything else. Just apologize for wishing death on him. That That's going too far. Even you'll admit that. I mean, you have to understand what Perry likes. He kills the cats. Nathaniel, uh, Eric, and Big Bear. You know, he claims he knows all these people, and he ended up killing them. So I guess I should uh, take a little precaution, but I think in his old age, Perry just doesn't have it into him to kill the way he used to. Okay, that's yeah. going too far. Just call him back and apologize for a week uh, that. that. That was going too far. And the burps. Sorry, I, I, I just can't get off this. Uh, this may have been covered. He was claiming last night he had to go to Carl's Jr. because he had a coupon. You know, that that's just a win-win. He saves money, he gets fed. However, he somehow thinks that that's better than getting all the food for free and then making money for eating it. But that's Perry. Uh, you, you can't tell him or even present to him the facts, and he'd understand. I mean, just look at him sitting there. Sorry. Watch this with it. He's got the fedora on and that hat. Uh, doesn't even know how to use the phone properly. It, 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 he, he's, he's a disgusting human being. Oh, there you are. It seems like we're getting disconnected. Sorry for wishing uh, death on you. Thank you. Good night. No, Don't no, hang no. Up. no. Which, which, which car wash do you want me to take your car to? You're not allowed at my car. Well, no, no, no. I'm just You're not going to go anywhere near my car. If you go anywhere near my car and I find you at my car, I will put you in jail. Do you well, understand you're, me? You're streaming. You won't be there. You won't be I will be out there outside in five fucking, five fucking seconds. Hey. Hey, I'm that's just... right. Hey. Goodbye. No, let him get a word out, Perry. Put the phone back. Hey. What? Perry, Juliet saw you. 
Saw me what? Like, you were just, like, in the bushes, like, hanging back, watching her. She said she felt like, like an eerie What a presence. lie. Why would I be in the bushes? There's the no building. bushes here. In the bushes. Hey. Well, you're a liar again. Liar. Did you reach out? Did you sniff her hair? Liar. You sniffed her hair, didn't liar. you? Liar. Goodbye. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Why, liar? No, you're not done yet. Put it back. I just he I just hung up and he lied. Call back, then call back and apologize. Liar. Call back and apologize. Oh, fuck. Now, the Juliet thing, he is constantly checking the hallway. You you know he is constantly, I, I'm gonna say every 10, 15 minutes, leaving his apartment to see who is walking by. Any woman, there is no way. He runs into her by accident as much as he says he does. He knows her schedule. He knows what time her kids come home. And he makes himself available to run into her. He goes to the weight room in the morning. He, I would be very creeped out um, just seeing him that much. And he stares at her. And he does reach after her. And he smells her hair. Uh, he's going to get arrested. He really is. Um I wish I could help in this situation, but that's all the way in the valley. Um, and then when he doesn't get what he wants, he takes it out on me. And I'm thinking he even gave her the popcorn uh, to try to poison me. But let's listen. Stop it and stop it and stop it. You got to let him get I mean, the stop it. popcorn because she got violently ill off the popcorn. What, what? did you put in there? She Why would she be popcorn. violently ill off of popcorn? What did you put in there, Perry? I put nothing in the can. It was it wasn't even a broken seal, idiot. I know about you and those things you do, Perry. Yeah, shut you up, idiot. I'm pretty certain uh popcorn was in a bag in a tin and he dumped a bunch of uh like ether or chloroform or something in there where all she had to do was open up the can and it was like a blast in the face of uh anesthesia or something. Something that probably made her sick, too. Um, he yells and screams like this, but then he does something very devious. Uh, and all I could think of Perry is in there, there's these palm trees outside by the pool. And you can tell Perry hangs out in there. And I'm sorry, I'm going to have to say this. You know, he just watches people at the pool and masturbates. Um, disgusting sometimes he comes out there naked i guarantee you tom and i've talked about this like not even just naked he leaves the house when he's all messed up looking and he doesn't even remember that he is you know the way he's on the stream just looks ridiculous screaming and yelling he will leave like that and i guarantee you he's in the bushes touching himself just waiting for girls to come by perry she said you, you came and found her with your wetsuit half on I tried to get somebody to zip up the back of my suit because it was uh, brand new. Half and on. you found her somehow. She was she was in my building. I asked her if she would zip it up. How long were you waiting for her to walk by to help you do that? And then you I wasn't waiting long at all. I walked outside my apartment. When I put it on, I asked her to zip it up. She wouldn't do it. And the wetsuit is completely, he was trying to impress her. He will never get in the water with that wetsuit on. He will. The only thing he will do is walk around his uh, apartment complex asking people to help it get zipped up. And the reason he got one so tight was so they could see his, uh, uh, his lap. And I guarantee you he approached her and he was in an excited state. Um, and again, he knew her schedule. Um, can you imagine seeing Perry come at you? Uh, <laughs> aroused in a skin tight suit asking you to help him uh, I, he's a disgusting human being um he spent money on something he will never use just to be a perverted freak let's listen no and she said you exposed yourself after i didn't expose you myself you blithering liar perry is a known um it's not even a nudist he just exposes himself uh i guess it's a flasher is the term or he somehow gets a kick out of driving naked, pulling women over naked. He goes through the Carl's Jr. drive through naked. You know, he went through yesterday when he used that coupon, but fucking naked. He wears a hat, though, so people will think he is closed. But when he drives up there, nothing on. And I know this when he's telling me this. 
I'm Goodbye. Not this, Harry. Look, you're a liar. She's a liar. You're all both a couple of evil, wicked people. Creeping. Look, I'll be over in your car. You're nowhere near my apartment. If you are near my apartment, I will have you thrown in jail. You understand me? Do you motherfucking understand me? Again, do you fucking understand me? I will throw you in jail, you piece of garbage. And don't tell me to call him back again. God damn it. I like how you hang up when you're angry on an, on an iPhone. You just, you hit it extra hard. Son like of a, a bitch. <sighs> hey, was making that phone call worth 50 bucks? I think it was. Two joints and Tony Hawk. This is Tony Hawk Cabalc. What? Hey, all right. I think we got You can't hear it, bird brain. This was all just about it searching your car for Excedrin. I can't. You're not allowed to go anywhere near my car. Good night. I'll stay away from your car if you stay away from Julia and don't poison her again. I don't know. Why would I poison her? I gave her a nice gift. If she didn't like it, that's her business. Well, that's how I know when Perry's lying. And when he says something like, come on, why would I do that? You know me. I'm a good guy. That's 100% Perry's tell that he he's done something horrible. Well, Perry, why would I poison a person with sealed with a sealed uh, a can of uh, popcorn? Why would I? Mm -hmm. It's sealed. Perry has one of those resealer things. He's he's got all sorts of stuff. I don't know if you all remember, I did find pretty much a the equivalent of a Ted Bundy rape kit kit in his place and he denied that that was his. Dumbass liar. Good night. Perry you do things like this, and... You're, you're a liar, scumbag. Good night. And notice, he wasn't even yelling there. He's trying to backpedal. He's thinking, oh, my God, they've got me. They've got me. I'm a known arsonist, rapist, and murderer. And he knows it. Look, everybody does. No, no, look. I'm going to be over at Juliet's later. You're uh, not you allowed what? in my apartment ever. Ciao. And if he calls again, I hang up the. F I'll, I'll turn off the phone. Pieces of shit. You know, don't do the fake. I'm losing my voice thing. Just, just. Oh, go fuck yourself, you fucking wet job. Oh, there you go. There it is. Now just do that same thing by reading this. Thank you, faker. Faker, you fucking whore. Catch my ass. No. Big up, Snowy and Gone, Chunk Squad, Matt C, Kill a Three, Tom Jim, Zep Skabagger, Two Joints, and Tony the Fuckface Hawk. See how easy that was? Easy my ass. End the show. All right. That's what I was thinking last night. Um, again, I just want to say how much I enjoy being part of Perry Caravelle Alive and how I've become such a good friend of Perry's over the years. Uh, I'll try to do a 24-hour uh, stream next time I'm over there.